Hey guys, so you guys, I believe, have heard this EMO. This is the audios to videos model diffusions model that enable you to use one image picture of a real person or an AI image and then one audio files. And you are able to make that image speak like what I did in previous videos using Set Talker and making an AI generate image talking in the introductions. So I'm not going through all these demos like the other YouTube videos and some other YouTubers trying to do with you guys because, well, you guys can go to the link of this GitHub page and you can test it by yourself, hear the voice and the actions right in front of you. So I don't want to waste your time and my time to play all these demo videos with you guys. And I just want to play one videos. Is this one? This is the AI ladies from Sora that we saw, obviously, Sora demos in OpenAI. So check this out first, then I will tell you guys, and I want to share my unique point of view experience about my work, of my working field, in my niche of doing online stuff. What I thought about this model and what happened relates to Alibaba's group. So, check this out. What this looks like, um, but, you know, but there is also, we don't know exactly what the future looks like. And so we are trying to make these tools available and the technology available to a lot of other people so they can experiment and we can see what happens. So as you can see the lips, that is really follow the voice of the ladies talking. And this is actually just using one source of AI image capture from the Sora videos, AI demos previously, that we saw in OpenAI's demo page. And actually, this is pretty cool that this model actually can produce like a voice speaking. And then the image are very smooth. Actually, all the lips on here is going very smooth. And also, the hat is kind of moving left and right. And their cheek is, they got a movement on the cheek right here. So so, for example, like this one, as you can see, is talking very natural. And okay, this image is actually singing, singing, very natural. And this one is talking, and then we got so many of these demos are very natural. And as we have tests about Set Talker before, and this one is a lot better than Set Talker in Stable Diffusions, Automatic 11 and 11 extensions. And actually, their method is, of course, more complex, more steps than using Sad Talker that we used previously in the demo of my previous videos. And yeah, I will share this link and you guys can check it out if you are really interested in technical stuff. But then I know some of you are not in the technical background, so I'm not going to go very deep, go through all these steps and what kind of process is that and all these technical terms. But then I want to share some point of view about my thought of this models and the relationship of Alibaba's group. And when you click this page, you scroll to this top, they say more research. You see there's another project here that they are currently doing the research on as we have test before the animate anyone. That is this one. So it's actually also done by Alibaba's group, one of their research department. And we did this before in previous videos. And why are they doing all this research project for anyone? For a character that is moving in front of the cameras? Very simple. Easily using one image and using the open pose. Yeah, using the open pose skeleton to move the characters. Just using one image like that. But then, as you can see, there's other things. There's outfit, anyone. There's mat, 3Ds. There's VTalk and clothe to text, something like that. Very related to something that we see to change a character's outfit. And also the characters are very naturally just using one clothing image. And you can change the characters to dress on that clothing and eventually they can move like animate anyone like this. And then this character, the face are not gonna be stoned like this. They will be very natural like this one to talk to be very smooth, just like a real person. So connect with all this project together. As you can imagine that why Alibaba's group want to do this kind of technologies and combine them. I believe their roadmap is once they create all this project and then the project are going to be mature stage. And of course, they are open source and they are also applying these technologies in their Alibaba's website. 
all the subsequent website of them. So why is that? Because, well, first of all, Alibaba is big tech giants from China, and then they are really popular, famous in doing e-commerce niche on the internet. And using all these tools, they can dynamically create models to demonstrate all the fashions, clothings, all the products that they can display on their e-commerce store or the marketplace. And it also allow, I predict it also allow to set as a tools, like a very easy, simple input tools for the Alibaba's marketplace seller to just upload an image or upload a movement for the models to move. And then the clothing style, upload an image of the clothing and also upload an audio using this EMO AI models to speak. And eventually the e-commerce demo page of an item or a product is not going to be a very static image stick on the product page. That will be something that very more interactive, I would say more interactive for the consumer to see and look and feel of the product. So this is what I thought because I'm doing a commerce brand as my business side other than making YouTube videos. So I kind of understand why Alibaba's group, they want to this all this research project. And then eventually when they're mature, one day they will combine all this project for changing clothing, changing outfit on the characters, and then talking characters, and then making the voice that become more natural for the characters to talk, matching with the face. And I want to show you guys something in Alibaba's group that what they're doing, other no, one of the very popular one, obviously, as you guys are overseas from outside of China, is AliExpress. And if you do a su e-commerce dropshipping, Shopify dropshipping, something like that, you will notice this AliExpress website. And there's a lot of products here, especially they have fashions product like this. But then... AliExpress are still not very updated for their interface. Their very static layout, just only image of the seller's product. And I think one day they are going to update their website, AliExpress website to apply the AI features into AliExpress on the interface rise to allow users to be more interactive with their product image and other image. Not only image, I would say the products showcase as an interactive way to present to the consumer. Now, one of the very good example is actually in Taobao. And this is the Tin Mao. So Tin Mao and Taobao, this is Taobao, right? This is the Taobao. This is like in the inside of China. They are a very popular marketplace to buy lots of things, like anything you can imagine. Legally items, okay, legally items you can buy. You can imagine they have everything in here. And actually, as you see all this fashion product, all this clothing for ladies, they are. Well, I can say it's still very static uh, for some of them. And if you go to their mobile apps, you can see some sellers like, okay, this is the sellers, right? If you enter to their shop in mobile apps, you can actually scan the QR code. And sometimes they have like live streaming to demonstrate their products and be very interactive with the consumers. So what if we one day like Alibaba's group to open these features, allow their Taobao sellers to have the AI features to make this image to be interactive, to be using animate anyone to moving, using this image and this girl actually can talk in using the audio files, convert that to the videos like this one. And and that will be totally changed. Like Game Changer is even better than Amazon, the display in Amazon Marketplace, right? So this is what I think the Alibaba's group direction are going right now, that to be enabled AI in their marketplace, especially all these AI features are going to apply for the Taobao seller. And one day the seller can be like this fashion niche. They can use just one image like that and then using the open post character and that character is moving like a live people. And you can eventually talking and eventually this kind of technology can be applied in the live stream. If you guys install the Tobao mobile apps, they have another tab button that you can click on that and watch the live stream 
of currently what other seller is selling on life. So that can be happened. And I'm really excited to see a tech giants to be really moving as a quick mover in the market to adopt AI technologies to their real actual environments and stuff like that. Because there's other sellers I noticed already that they have used AI to create their image. So for example, like this one, it can be done using AI image because obviously I can feel this is kind of modified by AI already. You see the face, it, it won't happen like this for a real person, right? It feels like they are using the majestic mix, realistic, some similar AI models like this to create an image like this, right? Yeah, that can be happened. And it will be more going to be more phenomenon that there is more sellers in Taobao or even in AliExpress are going to applying this kind of technologies. And then eventually if Alibaba officially integrating all these features of the AI models that they do research and then develop in the actual environment. And I believe that can be happened. And just like the anime diff videos to videos dance and it could be get rid of a lot of TikTok dancing. Their jobs or their channels are maybe not that popular later on when AI are more mature. And I think that will also happen when Alibaba is applying these kind of technologies and like the real models, the females, something like that. And they are not going to have more real jobs of doing modeling like this. Maybe they are going to just take a picture of their face and then AI companies are training the LoRa's or the checkpoint models based on their face, their body figure, and doing their brands of fashion clothings on top of those checkpoint models. So that could be happening. So guys, if you guys are doing e-commerce and especially in fashion niche in e-commerce, I think you should pay attention to this kind of technologies from Alibaba's group and they are going to be open source like anyone. This one is open source already and the clothing change outfit anyone is already released open source already and I guess one day they are going to finish the research and development of emo AI this emotional talking models and they will release this one in github page as well and yeah if you are e-commerce sellers especially doing fashion niche or any target audience is targeting females or something like that then you should pay attention to this because that is going to change the e-commerce market soon. And this thing doesn't happen like few years ago when we start Shopify e-commerce, all kind of those stuff. But then recently this one and two years when this happened and a lot of things change and even in e-commerce, there's a lot of change. Maybe one day we don't need to hire models to do the fashion photo shooting for us, for our product. Maybe we can just clone one of their image and we can duplicate it. Or using this kind of technologies, we can train an AI models like that to demonstrate our dress like this one or the sweater like this one. So who knows, right? So guys, just pay attention to this. And yeah, this is my kind of opinion of this emo AI models. I don't want to spend your time and my time to play all these demos, videos, and like other some YouTubers that I saw. There's no point. It's pointless. So yeah, guys, you guys can check it out by yourself. And I just want to give up some values and some opinions. What I thought about when this new AI models release and what is the other AI models that correlated with Alibaba's group that they are doing research on. So hope this inspired you to think doing e-commerce or you want to do e-commerce or do some business online. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.